How's it going guys, Alex here, back for another video. So you can probably tell already that I'm pretty much speaking very quickly and it's because the banlist dropped the other day and of course people are kind of really wanting to find reasons for why cards got banned and why cards got limited. So I'm speaking pretty quickly just so I can speak to you guys about why each card uh, got hit, hit but we're going to do this very, 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 very quickly. Astrograph Sorcerer. Astrograph Sorcerer was just a very unfair card that really just synergized too well with cards like Wavering Eyes and Electromite, Electrovite especially. No card should just have the uh, capability to pop a card and then special summon itself afterwards and then all of a sudden get a free search that of the card that was just destroyed. And it's not a hard ones per turn and the way it just synergizes with, Astro uh, with uh, Electromite and Wavering Eyes is just pretty damn strong. Masterpiece to Drew Draco Slant King. This card should have been banned or hit ages ago because Masterpiece is just a really, really, really unfair uh, boss monster that just makes itself invincible, pops cards uh, during your opponent's turn, and summons itself during your opponent's turn as well. And the fact that it's tr only tributing spells, uh, monsters, and trap cards is just pretty damn stupid. And then having the capability to flip something like a skill drain, knowing that it's going to be unaffected, is just pretty damn stupid. Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis. This card is only really to stop an FTK loop with the Romish card that's going to soon hopefully come out uh, in, the, in the TCG, but for some reason right now we do not have in the OCGs had it for about mm, three months, which is really starting to get on my nerves. Stu Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. Again, to stop FTKs, but a bit different. Hitting this card was actually a smart move from Konami. They actually thought that, everyone thought that Lyralisk was going to be the card that was going to get banned, but having the capability to actually mimic spells and trap, uh, spe mimic sp uh, monster effects is just a little too strong. Adding on to that, the card is not hard once per turn, which is still frustrating, and it's a contact fusion for Pendulum. So this is also a direct um, hit onto Pendulum at the same time. Ancient Fairy Dragon. It was kind of predicted just because of OCG, but the reason why Ancient Fairy really got uh, banned was because field spells right now are a bit too strong, and having the capability just to pop a field spell, search a field spell, and have an additional normal summon after doing a Distrudo play is a little too much. Adding on to that, Ancient Fairy afterwards can pretty much be used as a link material, which is pretty damn stupid. Rank up Magic Cardent Chaos Force. This is basically to stop Pendulum players from using uh, the Zexal Loop. And the Zexal Loop is just, not Zexal Loop, Lex, Zexal Lock, and just have a Invincible Utopia Zexal on your opponent's done during your turn, just making uh, sure that your opponent is just not allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Really unfair. Dynamite Knight, the True Draco Fighter. This card just got limited after Masterpiece got banned and came back to one, which is actually just pretty good, because at least now it makes the deck playable. Because considering Masterpiece is banned, there's no reason why this deck should not really have its ways of playing. Gem Knight Master Diamond. To be honest, we all knew that um, one of these cards was going to get hit. It was either Master Diamond or it's going to be Lapis Lazuli. One or the other. Master Diamond, eh, either way. The FTK is now stopped, so yeah. Chain Strike. Apparently, this is just to do with something to do with uh, uh, another Trick Star build that basically just is able to do more damage during your opponent's turn. Something like that. I don't know. Apocalypse Fort Tower is going to 2. No one really cares about it. Scout is still at 1. Doesn't matter. Ignis Heat the True Draco Warrior. This card is... Should have just gone to 3. Or just actually afterwards. They should have hit Masterpiece and Dragon Diagram ages ago. But then of course again they're just trying to make the deck playable and free up some space. Yeah. Grand Soul the Elemental Lord. No one really cares about this card. The card got eroded. And the eroded just makes it hard once per turn and is pretty damn shit now. All these other cards on this list just do not matter, and they're just completely pointless cards. Anyway, my name's Alex, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.